<sighs> All right, YouTube land. So, you can tell by the parts, we have a new car coming in. This will be a quick video, but I want a 2011 Crown Vic. A parts-only car. So the title, so I'm going to rebuild it. And it is gutted because of the... Uh... By the way, for wondering, can a door and a seat fit inside of a Ford EcoSport? Yes, it can. So... We'll show a picture here. And, uh, yeah, this thing is in rough shape. So, went out to the to two yards yesterday. First one, pick and pull here in Virginia Beach. Got myself a White dwarf it off of an 04. I think mine's still the harness, just in case. I brought this one with me. It's gonna be the wrong plugs, but temporary. <laughs> Excuse me. Then I was missing a driver's seat, I found out. So I got this one and uh, kind of blasted with a pressure washer. Still filthy, still needs more work. More on that later. The door here was a. Uh, Pretty rough, you can still see some lettering, but I've learned how to take care of that. Unfortunately, the white likes to stain for a while, so do that. Finally, have our spotlight ready to go on something, so that should be fun. It's missing it, missing its marker lights, so we got them. Missing its AC control, we got them. Missing its, uh, might be missing its uh, cab light, so I got that one there, or I might use the brand new one right there. Uh, let's see, where's the other window controls? I've been wanting to rebuild the Crown Vic again, but one in much worse shape for a while. There we go, this is the one that's uh, going to be in it temporarily. This is an 04 setup. I broke it, so I had to glue it. So that's ready to go. I also have uh, two of the brand new ones. If this thing, by chance, has a harness, I can just slap that that one in there because the uh, mounting points are the same. Just the plug is different, so win. <clears throat> this one here came off an 04. I call it the Weedy Van because it was uh, pretty bad. Also have the uh, LA, not the Alex. I step on there. Plug. Have the uh, Grand Marquis plug over there. I'm not sure if mine has electric seats, I mean electric um, foot controls, it's a 2011 so it might, so I got that. Um, oh yeah, could have had the kick panel so I got that one right there. The seat's still a manual one, I'm not sure if it's electric, like, again, like I said, it's missing its door. So I'll find out uh, when I plug everything up. If I have extra plugs, I know it's electric. But yeah, so far everything's coming together. It does have a cluster. I'm really hoping it's the nice one with the RPMs. I want that so badly. Um, now I could see it had one of the hubcaps. If it has the four hubcaps, well, I'll go with that. If it doesn't, well, I got brand new center caps right there. Ford OEM in the box, never used. I love new old stock. I mean, look how clean that is. You cannot be brand new. However, I'm going to put on if I decide to keep it. I'm making it into a uh, lock away model. Put in storage and then just keep it there if the money goes up. Because they are. Thanks to people like Chris uh, McFarland and his demo derby Crown Vicks. Crown Vicks are getting rare. But how he can do what he wants. He bought them. While I. Uh, wouldn't do it myself and demo a Vic, I can see why people would, because again, at this current time, they are plentiful. I mean, hell, the farmers still use them. Once they run out of them, well, Bob's your uncle on that one. So, oh, what's this now? FedEx. Okay, FedEx is saying it's a package. So, the spotlight here, it's not actually the full brand new one, it's a retrofit, because I picked up the 04 from this one here. It was a little condescent one, and it was, a. Uh, pretty rough. 
That's actual bulb itself. It's fogged over. Don't want that. And the base itself with the older style, which is a pretty fogged up old Unity one. Had that brand new OEM uh, one from Ford. Again, it is an actual Ford part. When I saw an auction recently, I picked up a bunch of these brand new OEM parts. Going to what the part number is for a spotlight. There you go. Does not come with the stem. Uh, let's see. What am I missing here? Oh, yeah, the Impala's back in the driveway. That's about to get moved to the uh, next shop. Oh, yeah, back to the retro mod. So, I. Re Wife is having something boil. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really getting annoying. Uh, first, the stem itself, the actual base, is original. The cap on that end is not. The lens itself is the new one. The handle right there is a same setup, but the I like the uh, we call it the fat handle better than this little stubby one that came for. I'm pretty sure a uh, uh, Taurus. So I swapped it over, cut the bolt, resoldered the ends. <sighs> so. Tomorrow I'm going to load up the uh, Eco Sport again. Go up to, uh, uh, I forget what the town it's called. Mm, it's going to drive me crazy now. But I'm going to head out there, go stop this door. I, I asked beforehand, they said I can. Get my good friends at AAA to uh, pick her up and bring her home. Oh, and she might have a bad trance. I found that out when I was uh, going through everything and just saw... Very faded lettering saying bad trans. So, here's hoping it's not, but we'll find out in a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see, am I missing anything else? Oh, yeah. I sold out more of my lights, and one of these lights, I'm not, not sure which one yet, is going to go back inside the Chesterville. Chesterfield, sorry. That's what the department was, Chesterfield. So one, so this one probably will end up going uh, in that car, as well as maybe a radio or two. I, I'm debating on what I'm gonna do with it. I might just do a full uh, rebuild it as a cop car, and then swap it out. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I'm thinking I should bring my uh, little Jerry rig. Oh, if I what these four parts are, it's OEM for a '68 Galaxy. My police tape there. Uh, radar guns from Chesterfield. That's a radar detectors and speed detectors. I got a lot of stuff in them. That grill I might put in it. I'm not sure yet. Eh, still so many things I'm trying to figure out. Because she's rough. I mean, hell, it's just under $700. You cannot beat that price. But she is rough. <laughs> um, what am I forgetting? Uh, I came in here for something. It was that it was my secondary radio. I do have another radio somewhere which I can put in it because one that's uh, I have right now is a uh, Boss one, which is crap. Like, not for people who like them, but they are crap to me. <sighs> Where do I put that? Oh yeah, Kevlar plates. Uh, I also, so a little something side I picked up on the side there. Might just slap this in there, just because it's pretty funny to find. Beagle inspection forms. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I'm leaving the stuff out for tonight. Cause tomorrow, after I drop off the wife at work, I'm heading down there and gonna go play around. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully next video you guys see, I will have that door on that Crown Vic. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have a new subscriber, I met Junkyard, and uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but uh, welcome to the channel. Have a great one.